Iraq, who kick off their quest for National Lacrosse League glory when they host Halifax on Friday at First Ontario in the East semifinal. Happy to welcome Rock defender Mitch DeSnoo to the show. First timer for him. Hey, Mitch, how are you, pal? Hi, thanks for having me. Listen, you're, uh, you're a dude that's you become a fan favorite in your first season, somebody who's uh, hard to play against. How much, uh, how much pride do you take in that? Uh, yeah, definitely. That's what I try and uh, center my, my game around is, um, yeah, somebody that makes it difficult for opponents to get around out there. So what's it like in your first year with the Rock? So you grew up in Ajax, out Oshawa kind of area. I'm assuming you cheered for the Rock as a, as a young lacrosse player, young whippersnapper. What's it like playing for them now? Yeah, exactly. I grew up in Oshawa, so I remember coming down to the ACC and uh, some of the Rock's heyday there, and it was a uh, really special experience growing up, and now it's been um, been particularly great experience playing for such a storied franchise. Well, and so you, were, you, you mentioned the ACC, and they're no longer playing there. They're playing at First Ontario. At the, the start of the year, there was no fans in there, but there's fans in there now, and I've been there, and those fans, man... They're they're crazy. What's it been like playing in Hamilton in front of uh, in front of the fans at First Ontario? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, First Ontario has been unbelievable since we've had fans back in. I mean, last game we uh, we played there, our, our last home game, it was absolutely rocking, and uh, hope to continue that same thing come Friday night. Well, here's that the thing. I think the last home game was against Halifax, right? And you played Halifax three times. You had a big win against them that night. What what do you have to do on on, on Friday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a great team. Uh, they had our number earlier in the year, and they, uh, they got us pretty bad out in Halifax earlier in the year. But uh, I think we've really come together as a, as a team throughout the course of the year and got our style down. And I think if we come and play a, a complete game, and that starts with our, our defense and our goaltending, just as it has every time we've been successful, um, I think we should, be, we should be in a good position here. I'm so fascinated with, um, with you guys as professional lacrosse players because it's so different than other pro players because you need other jobs. You need other gigs. And, and a lot of guys in the league, there's firefighters, there's police officers, there's contractors. What you do is pretty unique. What are you, what are you up to outside of, the, uh, outside of lacrosse right now, Mitch? Uh, yeah, so for me, outside of lacrosse, I'm doing a combined MD-PhD degree at the University of Toronto. Uh, so right now I'm in the, the research portion, so I'm doing uh, my PhD at Sick Kids, where I do um, some research into how memory works. So your end goal is what? What, what the engram is. What, what, or what's the end goal for you? Like, do you want, what kind of doctor do you want to be? Oh, the end goal, sorry. Um, I think we'll see. So that, uh, you make that decision a little bit down the road. So I think uh, doing neuroscience research, I, I lean to something... Um, maybe in the neurology field, uh, but I think I'll figure that out once I get into, into the clinical and then experience that day-to-day. Uh, -day. So you take pride in being the smartest guy on the team then? <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily the case, but um, I mean, the, the credentials help sometimes. Has there, been a, has there been a situation when on the bench, is there, is there a doctor on the bench anywhere? A doctor! <laughs> Uh, there are there are uh, actual practicing licensed physicians, but uh, maybe they'll let me stitch somebody up. I was going to say, you're like, I, you're like, I got this one. Step aside, boys. I, I know what I'm doing here. Yeah. <laughs> good, stu good stuff, Mitch. Uh, listen, uh, best of luck on, on, on Friday night. And we, uh, we want that place to rock and with Halifax in town. You guys, you guys have won five in a row. Let's make it six. You've won five in a row to get that home that home advantage and uh, it goes down on Friday night uh, 7 30 first Ontario Center with the Thunderbirds against the Toronto Rock best of luck in the game and best of luck best of luck in life Mitch thank you very much appreciate it